I'd like to start with our first testimonial, which will be with Maureen Plant, who has so graciously um, offered to come on. And Maureen is um, from Port Colburn, Ontario, Canada. She is the CEO of her own company, Global Holistic Body Balance. And as I mentioned, a founding platinum member of iGalen. So with this, Maureen, we'd like to give you a warm welcome and would love to hear your, your, your testimony of how it's been going with using the products. Thank you. Well, hi everybody. It's a real pleasure to be here and I thank you Fawn for inviting me to be a part of tonight's conversation. As you know, I'm currently a platinum distributor and a founding member with iGalen and I'm absolutely in love with the products and the company. I'm also happy to share how I became part of the iGalen family. Yeah. I've been a diabetic for almost three decades that we're aware of and along with uncontrolled sugar, I also had asthma, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, poor circulation, blockages in both my legs, arthritis, bursitis, edema, stage three kidney damage, glaucoma, um, numbness and diabetic neuropathy in my feet, legs, and it was moving into my hands. I had fatty liver disease and psoriasis in uh, thick, huge patches all over. I took so many pharmaceuticals, it was unbelievable, and nothing made me better, nothing. I was not able to walk unless I used a cane or a walker, but for most trips I was in a wheelchair. In 2015, I developed a, an infection in my left foot. I had a, my feet were very dry, and um, I got a little paper cut on my heel, and I thought I was taking care of it, but I also developed, um, I had bandages on it all the time, and I developed um, an, um, an allergy to the adhesive that's on the bandages. Um, but then I developed a hole under the, there was there became a callus, and then I developed a hole there. Well, from that hole, I got an infection. And in 2016, I ended up with two, they turned into two diabetic ulcers. And they were infected with a really old, old, rare infection. And none of the modern medicine they gave me cured it. So my foot doctor uh, made up an IV concoction. And he said it was an old, rare uh, medicine that people didn't use anymore. And um, I had to have IV, which that was the last resort for me. But it took seven weeks of daily IV treatments to cure it. In June of that year, I had arterial surgery in both legs to get rid of the blockages. A week later, because of difficulties breathing, I was sent to the hospital and tests revealed I had a blood clot in my lung. And I was put on blood thinners and sent home. Mm. In July of, that, of 2016, my kidney specialist warned that I had stage three kidney damage and was looking at dialysis and a transplant. And then in August, my regular J GP, GP told me that my liver damage was very bad and I was not ever gonna be able to heal from it. In October of 2016, I was hospitalized because I was losing blood and they had to do a scope to find out why. My hemoglobin, which is normally supposed to be at 120, was at 52. I was bleeding internally from the blood thinners and ended up receiving three blood transfusion two bags of iron and on day four they released me. In December I remember uh, doing my morning devotionals and asking if this was going to be my life. I was totally dependent on my husband to care for me. I was unable to do anything on my own. I was afraid of my own shadow. I was afraid of falling. I was depressed over my poor health and I distinctly remember hearing that it would get well. A few days later my friend Rick LeClaire uh, got a hold of me on Facebook and he said to me, I, I have a new, there's a new product coming to Canada and I'm telling you Maureen, this is going to save your life. I promised him I would try it and after I Galen launched in January, I ordered my first bottle of Emulin and I started it the day I received it and that was February 11th. That day changed my entire life. I followed the nine day carb reset and within four days I was able to get up and walk and I walked the length of my house and it's 30 feet. I was not able to walk that. That used to take me, it would take me 20 minutes to get from where I'm sitting right now uh, outside to my car because I could only walk 10 feet and then I'd have to stop and rest. To go anywhere was a nightmare. I, I had, I was so exhausted. So after um, being on this for a couple of weeks, my husband decided to go on it too and then we both loved how we felt so I became a platinum distributor. The more I took it, the better I felt. I started sleeping through the night. I was able to give up one of my puffers because I had asthma. In the first three months, I lost a pant size, 
My sugar levels went from high teens to normal. I didn't have any more circulation problems, no more muscle cramps. My arthritis stopped hurting, my bursitis stopped hurting. I actually gave away my wheelchair. Mm. Within four or five months, I gave up my walker. The diabetic ulcers healed up and my feet and legs became pink and warm. I was able to do some of my housework and again, I was so happy because it was a big day because I got to drive again. I had not driven in two years. I was able to shop and be independent. That year in July, my kidney doctor told me that my kidneys had improved so much, they were working at six points from normal. Two weeks later, my general practitioner told me that I could have a beer if I wanted. 10 years of fatty liver disease was gone. I just kept getting better and then in January of this year, I was able to add Climax to my daily routine. My feelings of wellness just kept getting stronger. My gray hair began to fade and I got lots of new hair growth and it was thicker and less hair loss. The diabetic neuropathy pain and shaking in my feet, legs and hands was getting less and less. The part of my heel that was missing since the infection, now the uh, hole in my heel was as big as the heel in my hand and went right to the bone. That part had only healed, it was like this part of my heel was missing. It's growing in. Oh. I just, when I went to the foot doctor, she's going, oh, the side of your foot looks so great. I'm like, wait, you see my heel? And they're, they're like astounded. They can't believe it's literally growing in. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, the psori I have psoriasis my whole life. And um, I had it on my elbows, my knees. And then I had this big, thick patch that went from hip to hip. And it was thick and scaly and itchy and oh, I wore clothes. I wore holes in my clothes. Actually, like when I got <laughs> my pants from last year, they all have holes in the back because I literally scratched through them. And I have clear skin there now. Well, it's not totally clear, but hey, man, I'm so excited because I don't have nothing on my elbows anymore. There's nothing on my knees. I had a patch down the front of my leg. It's gone. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm not scratching anymore and I have stretch marks. They're almost gone. Things that used to make me happy or make me up, make me cry or be, or pardon me, things that used to make me unhappy or make me cry or upset don't bother me anymore. And I have a feeling of hope that was missing from my life. Everywhere I go, when I run into people who have not seen me in a long time, they are absolutely astonished in the change in me. I tell absolutely everybody I meet about these products. And I encourage everyone who has any kind of health issue to get on one or the other, or even both. You have nothing to lose from these products, who for me, the only side effect was good health. And I'd like to thank you all for letting me speak tonight. Well, thank you, Maureen. And I mean, to start with such a significant difference in four days, and it just yeah. getting better and better. What is the dosage of the emulin that you took for the year? I, I would take, when I first started out, I took it 15 minutes before I ate. So if you take it, I took one, like, so I take three times a day. Um, if you take it 15 minutes before you eat, it helps uh, absorb 31%, 33% of the caloric uh, intake. So that was how I was losing weight. Um, so once I started adding Climax, I went from, I would start taking my, taking two Emulin in the morning, and then I take another one at supper time. If I'm going to be really busy, um, like this past weekend, my husband and I um, were at a wedding where he was the best man and I was like the wedding coordinator as well as the photographer. And I was busy all weekend and I had to double up on everything, right? So I doubled up on everything. And the good thing about Emulin is you cannot over overdose on it. If you have too much, like I can feel it. I never sweat and I was sweating. That night. I <laughs> like that feeling and I was sweating and I'm like, oh, I took too much Emulin on. <laughs> but it gave me the energy to get through the night. Do you know what I mean? I was all over. We, this wedding was at a golf course and I had to go and climb stairs and go to the girls place where they were all getting their hair and makeup done and getting dressed and then walking all over the place. It was just very busy for this girl who a year ago was in a wheelchair. And when people see me, they don't believe it. Like uh, people who haven't seen me in forever, like they just like, wow, Maureen, I can't believe you. Like, I can't believe me sometimes, you know, when I look in the mirror, like my grandchildren used to only know me as a, especially the baby only knew me as grandma who sat in the chair. 
Mm. And I remember watching them and you know, they were running and jumping and, and they're, they're not even thinking about how their body's working. They're just doing it. And I remember being actually jealous because they're, they're just expecting their body to work. My body didn't work. My body didn't do the things that I wanted it to do. I had this, I slept downstairs for almost a year. My husband slept upstairs. We didn't sleep in the same room or the same bed for almost a year because I couldn't get upstairs. My brothers brought me a chairlift, but when I got upstairs, I, I was so afraid of falling that I didn't want to, I didn't want to go upstairs. I just wanted to stay down here because I was afraid I would fall down the stairs. I'll never forget when I got off the chairlift and I stood up, I was right, I, I, I just got right against the other wall. So when I started taking Emulin, I lost that fear. And I didn't even realize that was a valid fear to the nurses asked me. Because I had nurses come in here twice, like twice a week, three times a week. And when I was taking the IV every day. So, um, but they noticed a big change in me. And I'll never forget when the foot doctor said to me, I can't believe your foot. I, I just, I can't believe this. And my arterial doctor, he's like, I don't understand this. This should not be happening. But he, he's willing to listen and he took all the information and I said, Hey, look, don't listen to me. Like, go and look it up yourself. Like I'll even give you a bottle if you want. No, no, it's okay. He says, I got the information, but he put it right in my medical chart. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Thank you so much, Maureen. Oh, really you're welcome. Appreciate who you are and seeing your robust energy and, and thank you for being so oh. I'm sorry I took up so much time, guys. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We we have loved it.